Right, so um, what's your name, please? Frank McGinnis. And where are you from? San Francisco. Uh, and why are you here today? I'm also from uh, Council Idaho, small town. Uh, why am I here? Uh, here to protest the ACOG, the gynecologists, uh, the, the worst uh, circumcision of uh, human rights uh, uh, violators of, of America. And, uh, and we do this every year. I've been doing it for 10 years at least. And they are, they have, it's like talking to a, a brick wall. And, uh, and they are very, uh, they just don't see the light and uh, will never see the light, I think. So it's up to us to communicate and educate the public and eventually change will happen. Do you think that you made any headway today? Today? Oh yes, yes. I made a headway not on the doctor level, but uh, definitely on the personal level of the people passing by and uh, exchanging, you know, real life stories and, and experience and that gets us and knowledge. And that gets us to understand each other better and uh, to better our lives. So what did you think about the doctors? Oh my god, the doctors are horrendous. Though so I did talk to a couple of doctors. One uh, one doctor, she was very nice. And uh, she said they don't do it in a hospital. I asked where it was. It was out in the Midwest. Uh, I asked if that was typical in her area. She said, no, it's not. And that was rather sad. I was hoping she would say it was really positive. Yeah. Right, so in other words, not all of the doctors were a brick wall. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there you go. No, they weren't. <laughs> No, they weren't. So there's hope. Uh, there, there's hope. There's always, there's always some good ones, but you know. What was the I, worst part of today? But I want to say, as, as, a, as, a, as a group, because they've been so obstinate in change and so forthrightly violating and knowing they are violating, I believe they know they are violating, because they, they just simply don't care. As one doctor said, a pediatrician, a different group, that said to me, you know, I do it because the parents say it, and I, um, and I, was, I try to do, you know, say not to do it, but they keep on doing it because, and I keep on, you know, insisting because otherwise I lose the whole bi family business. And so it's all about money, and it's all about power. Circumstances are all, all about power, you know, power over others. Um, what's your second question? What was the best part of today's protest for oh, you? The, today's part, uh, the best part. The best part was uh, <laughs> when I talked to a, a guy who came by, and uh, we got talking on a very sexual, personal level with females, and uh, I was able to uh, brighten his day and what he might be doing to better his sexual experience. <laughs> and what was the worst part of today? Oh, the worst part. The worst part, oh. Well, yeah. I, I don't know because it's, it's all from there, it's all downhill. <laughs> yeah. What would you like to say to a parent who's expecting a baby boy? Oh. I say to a parent expecting a baby boy, treat it like you'd be expecting a baby girl, or treat it as you would be expecting a child of, you know, intersex even, you know. It's just expect, you know, the love and treat them all the same. Thank you. Thank you for being here today, Frank. Thank you very much. <laughs>